to Bob's BMW. Uh, they have a Ducati event going on and uh, it's a great atmosphere. I'm here to test ride uh, BMW S1000XR and uh, possibly a V-Strom 1000 2018. Both of them they got really good deals on and uh, both of them are used. So these are their used bikes. This is the XR, even though this is the older generation, but man, this looks good. And uh, comes with all the accessories, 1,289 miles, 1,289 miles. Yeah, there's a chip right here, but other than that. Oh man, you got it? Awesome, Sorry, awesome. Keep coming away and no problem, no problem, uh, so I was just. It's a nice one, this thing looks brand new. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm uh, wondering about it. I'm going to just change the headlights. I, I I don't like the halogens, but... Yeah, you get the LED drop-ins. Yes, yes. I did that on my own bike, yeah. Oh, really? Which one? I have a 1250R. 1250R, wow. Yeah, I like the... I like... All right, sir. Yes, sir. Ready to roll. Yep, yep, yep. Give me the uh, instruction, are you good? Uh, I think I'm good. I see all the controls, same, pretty similar to my... Yeah. ABS, traction control, I mean the, the yeah, dampening. Yeah, it's in, uh, yeah, the dampening. It's in road, yeah, full, cool, full cool gas. Dynamic. All right, man. All right, I'll, and how does that work? You just take this off like this. Uh, oh, really? If it's nav for the uh, phone now. And I can probably use the same one as, I have nav, yeah. I have nav 4, I, yeah, I want a new one. Huh? That hook in there. Oh, okay, that's ready. good. It doesn't come with one. No. Okay. All right, Jim. Thank you, you sir. Hooked up, man. Look at you. I'm serious. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. I told Hannah that now, uh, up until now, I was just making one um, for myself. Yeah. But now I'm gonna be uh, making it for the bike and the. Yeah. So let's cool. see what he, what she says. I'm, right, so, I'm we'll starting. Down, man. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, when you come back in, you're pulling in front of these bikes, like. Yeah. Like okay. We do. All, All right. right. Thanks so much. Good one. No problem. Thank you. Back. You'll be back. Yeah. yeah. Hi. You know about our rally? Hi, I'm Juan. Have you heard about our rally? No. June 2nd through 4th, square route. Oh, it's, really? It's uh, Friday through Sunday. You can go camping. There's bunk houses. I think it's like 70 bucks. That's, that's good. I'll check it out. Please take that with you. And where is it? It's up in near a Camp David. It's Sevillasville. It's like uh, 45 minutes north of here. Not bad at all. Please check it out. Uh, Absolutely. The food is awesome. Great okay. bunch. It's like 100, 150 people. Uh, all kinds of rides, dirt, road, whatever. But okay. check us out. I'm all right. Nice to meet Absolutely. You. What's your name? Same here. Imran. 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 Hope yeah. to see you there. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking I'm, forward to I'm it. I'm the club president. Enjoy your ride. All right. Thank see you. you yes. Yeah, let's see how it goes. All right. all right, viewers. So this is the great advantage of coming to such events. All right, viewers. As you can see, Bob's BMW is one of the best places to be. Most exciting, and they always got something going on with the friendliest of staff back on the bike first of all i want to give a disclaimer that today i've had several challenges with the audio of my helmet camera which is a new one and uh, it just turns out that it wouldn't record audio from its internal helmet mic that really uh, forced me to do this voiceover back on the bike again uh, this 2016 bmw one s1000 xr is based on the s1000 rr uh, which is known for its legendary performance. This inline four is something to be heard and experienced. Otherwise, you cannot understand uh, the excitement that this bike generates and the level of performance. Lower, higher, uh, in the rev range, doesn't matter. 
It's one of the most stable bikes that I have ridden specifically for the adventure touring category. It was not on my radar because I was looking at a 1200 Ti uh, Triumph Tiger or 1250 GS and some of those well-known adventure touring bikes. Turns out that this bike is more road, road focus obviously, but it's a direct competitor to uh, Ducati's Multistrada uh, V4 or 12, uh, 1260 uh, uh, Hikes Peak and all of those uh, put out about 170 plus horsepower but this bike is definitely faster if you ride one than you will not. And this is what happened with my 360 camera today, uh, that it just uh, flew away and I thought I'd lost it, but then I realized that it was stuck on my brake uh, lever, so it uh, survived. Thankful for that. That would be a big loss. Back on the bike. So this uh, S1000XR is so stable uh, that I can compare it with any good sports storing bike. The windshield uh, is small, but it does uh, the job pretty well. It still has, it's not uh, a sports storing bike type uh, where you would have uh, complete isolation from the wind, uh, but it does not move you from side to side. Like, you know, you don't get a lot of wind on your shoulders. And today was a relatively windy day. So overall, it comes with uh, heated grips, electronic suspension, uh, cruise control, and all the amenities that one can want. This one, this particular one also comes with the uh, BMW's uh, uh, navigation mount and setup. So uh, again, I am astonished by the performance of this bike, overall feel of this bike, overall handling. I didn't push it too hard because it, just got new tires. It only has uh, 1,789 miles uh, altogether. Uh, the ABS light was on, but maybe uh, they just changed the brakes uh, or something. Uh, so they'll they'll check it out. But overall, this bike surpasses any other adventure touring bike that I have ridden. It's relatively comfortable. The seating position is uh, very uh, adventure bike like. Uh, straight up, handlebars come far but i would have to put handlebar risers on that uh, and then the vibrations that the, this bike is uh, notorious for now uh, i didn't feel much at the handlebars but i did feel a tingling sensation at certain rpms in the seat so i'm gonna have to do something about it pegs were okay uh, because i was riding motorcycle boots uh, or wearing motorcycle boots so it didn't uh, really bother me that much but yes the the vibration the pulse is there uh, but compared to any of the V-twin motorcycles, this is as smooth as it can be. And this is an inline four. And it sounds amazing, even with the uh, factory exhaust. So overall, a genuine winner. And uh, uh, I can't comment on the fuel economy or any of the other aspects that are related to uh, long-term riding, uh, like the comfort, but the seat seems uh, just right. I may have to do some uh, alterations or modifications to the seat at uh, one given, uh, some given point. But um, the main aspects that this first generation is missing for my taste is uh, no LED headlights. It's got halogen lights and then the gauge cluster is still old school. So um, not major issues for me, not deal breakers, uh, because the rest of the bike, I've ridden so many motorcycles uh, searching for one adventure touring used motorcycle that I was looking for. I've, I've, ridden, I've ridden new ones too, and I'm preferring it over a new Triumph Tiger 1200 GT Explorer. GT Explorer is a much better bike in terms of technology and everything else, and uh, overall around town and for the twisties, it's comparable to this. But uh, on the highway, in windy conditions, no match. Uh, wind protection in this, for some reason, it's the, either it's the aerodynamics or something, it just feels so much better. I also compared it with the uh, Suzuki V-Storm 1000 XT uh, that I'll upload the video for uh, its review as well soon. Uh, but uh, V-Storm is... <laughs> seasoned competitor. Uh, it's out of, out of the box. It just felt more comfortable. But I over 75 and 80 miles an hour, it 
was not as stable in today's windy conditions as this bike. So this is a winner for me at this point. Let's see what happens. I'll keep you posted. If you like this video, please uh, share and subscribe and excuse the challenges with the cameras and the audio in this. Uh, again, this S1000XR, even the first generation, to me, it sounds and seems like a winner. Thank you.